Hey, so what's going on everybody? It's Bob Jennis from Cobalt Banker here in Northern New Jersey. Thanks for tuning in, I appreciate it. Today, before I actually get into the video that you want to learn about, which is Hackensack, New Jersey, I'm here at Riverside Square, which is now called the Shops at Riverside. If you're not familiar with the Shops at Riverside, it is a shopping mall that's here. It's a high-end shopping mall. You've got all your designers here. More and more, we're seeing a lot of infrastructure for electric charging vehicles. And a new station just opened up recently. I have an electric car, and we're starting to see a lot more charging infrastructure here, which is fantastic. You have an electric car, I have a non-Tesla electric car, by the way. This could be a good opportunity for you. So more and more infrastructure is definitely coming in. So let's get into the real reason why you tuned in today to learn all about Hackensack, New Jersey. And what I want to do today is get into four reasons why people actually love living in Hackensack. What are those specific aspects that they enjoy of living here? And then I want to give you a few red flags to consider as well, just if you're thinking about owning, renting, living here in Hackensack. So just some things to keep in mind as well. All right, sound good? So let's just get right into it. All right, so let's get into the first appealing thing that people love about living in Hackensack, and that is all about change. Hackensack is going through a huge redevelopment right now. It is an older town. It's actually the largest municipality that is here in Bergen County. All the county government is here, so if you get called for jury duty, you're gonna wind up going to Hackensack. Many of the homes and buildings here are actually from the early 1900s. So you have a lot of older construction, but there's a lot of redevelopment going on here. And with that redevelopment comes some new incentives that are being offered to developers coming in. They're building high-rise apartment buildings. And there's a lot of change coming to the downtown area of Hackensack as well. You're going to start to see a lot of redevelopment of restaurants and shops, and the whole downtown area is going to look a lot different in comparison to what it looks like now. So if you're thinking about a real estate investment here in Hackensack, Give it a few years, it really could be a good opportunity to get some high value for what you're purchasing here. So the second appealing aspect that people love about living here in Hackensack is just the location itself. You've got every major highway that is going through Hackensack. You've got Route 17, which takes you north and south in Bergen County. You've got Route 80, which takes you east and west. The Garden State Parkway is also close by as well. And then Route 4 actually goes right through Hackensack. So it's really simple for you to get to the George Washington Bridge. The other great thing about Hackensack is it is completely commutable. You've got express and local buses here and then there are train stops which are part of the Pascack Valley line which will take you to Secaucus and you can then go further out to Hoboken as well and if you need to get to Midtown Manhattan you just switch in Secaucus you take a Midtown Direct right into Penn Station so a totally commutable area, that's what residents love about living here. You're about 12 miles away to New York City. All right, so the third appealing thing about Hackensack is just the real estate and the sense of community that's here. Single family homes are going for just over $500,000. Of course, that's all gonna depend on the type of home that you're looking at, all of the amenities as well. Hackensack is also a big rental community. Like I said, with the redevelopment, they're also building more apartment buildings that'll be coming soon as well. Your rents are gonna vary from maybe about two thousand dollars up to about five thousand dollars if you're looking for a specific house rental. You'll also find some high-rises as well as some condominium buildings here as well. One bedroom condos are going into the high 200s and of course with any updates or more bedrooms your prices will go up from there. So not only can you find homes in the five hundred thousand dollar range here but you also can find some million dollar properties as well in western Hackensack. So you really get a full spectrum of home styles as well as home prices here. And when it comes to real estate in the sense of community, you've got to talk about the schools here as well. As always, if you're looking at schools, I recommend to my customers and clients to look at niche.com, but also try greatschools.org. That'll give you perspective and ratings by actual residents of how they feel about the school system here. If you go on niche.com as a starting point, you're going to look at B ratings for the schools here. But definitely do your due diligence. Use Google as a resource. Try niche.com or goodschools.org. That can be a great starting point just to give you some perspective about what the schools are like here in Hackensack. All right, the final appealing thing about Hackensack is definitely the amount of shopping that's here as well as industry that you can find here. When it comes to shopping, there's so many options available to you. You've got a Target, you have a Costco. You've also got the shops at Riverside. Like I said before, this is a high-end shopping mall that's here. But if you travel along Main Street in Hackensack, you will definitely find 
some of those mom and pop stores that are still around. And as that redevelopment continues here in Hackensack, we're definitely gonna see change occurring along Main Street. If you're looking for grocery stores, you have a ShopRite, you have an Aldi as well. There's also a Stop and Shop nearby too. And if you're looking for places to eat, there's plenty of places to eat here in Hackensack. There's tons of diverse restaurants that you can try. Here at the shops at Riverside, you have Cheesecake Factory, you've got a Houston's, you have Morton's, P.F. Chang's, you have Maggiano's as well, so a lot of fare here. Also, if you're a fan of diners, drive-ins, and dives, you've got White Mana Burgers here in Hackensack as well. It was featured on that show. So if you need a quick lunch, a delicious burger, you definitely want to hit White Mana. Also, if you're looking for a dessert, there's a great bakery called B&W here in Hackensack. B&W is known for their crumb cake and it is thick. Like the crumbs on top are really, really thick. It's delicious. You definitely have to check it out. And when it comes to industry here, one of the draws for medical professionals is Hackensack University Medical Center. It's one of the best hospitals here in New Jersey, but you'll see a lot of medical professionals in the area. And many of those folks are taking up residency here, so there's a lot of rentals. Or if you're looking to purchase, you have options here as well. All right, so now I wanna get into three red flags that you should consider if you're thinking about a move here to Hackensack, New Jersey. The first red flag I wanna mention is Teterboro Airport. Teterboro is just north of Hackensack. And depending on which direction the planes are flying, you can expect to hear some plane noise throughout the day. In fact, just south of this area is a town called Rutherford. I did a video about that town recently. So if you wanna check out that video about Rutherford, you can check it out here. And Rutherford itself is on the southern end of Teterboro Airport, so you get some airport plane noise there as well. In fact, there's an airplane going over right now. I'm not sure if you can hear it or not. So Teterboro is a regional airport. It tends to get pretty busy throughout the day. So if you don't like the noise of airplanes, you're probably not gonna like living in Hackensack. All right, the second red flag that you wanna consider if you're thinking about Hackensack is definitely congestion. Hackensack itself is a very busy area. Like I said, it's the largest municipality here in Bergen County. And with all those highways that are surrounding this area, it tends to get very busy. It's definitely more urban feel here, a little bit more congested in comparison to other parts of Bergen County. So if you're looking for that quieter suburban town, maybe with a little bit of land, not so noisy, well, Hackensack might not be for you. So the third red flag I'd like to mention is all about the real estate that's here. Some of the homes are definitely older. Many of them were built in the, let's say, early 1900s. I would recommend just doing some due diligence with inspections here. And what I mean by that is because of some of these older homes, there might be oil tanks that are in the ground, especially if somebody has converted to gas. And if that's the case, you want to make sure that you do an inspection to see if there is an actual oil tank that's buried on the property. And also just speaking about inspections, because of some of these homes and when they were built, you might have opportunities for asbestos as well. But back in the day, again, many homes were built with, let's say, asbestos shingles or siding. You might find pipes that are wrapped in asbestos in basements. And in some cases, because of the age of the home, you might have floor tiles or ceiling tiles that might have traces of asbestos in them. So those are things that we can always look at if you're looking at Hackensack, if you're working with another realtor, just ask those questions, especially from your inspector. If it's an older home, these are things that you definitely want to take a look at and have your inspector check out if you're purchasing something here in Hackensack. All right, so there you go. Four aspects of why people love living here in Hackensack, but also three red flags to consider if you're looking to live here. So if you ever have any questions whatsoever about real estate here in northern New Jersey, if you want to consider Hackensack, would love to have a conversation with you. Feel free to reach out. My information's coming across the screen right now. Happy to answer any specific questions that you have. So again, I'm Bob Jenis. I'm with Colwell Banker Realty here in Northern New Jersey. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.